this uh, video will talk to you about some ways that you can format your spreadsheet. So we're going to talk about the format painter, conditional formatting, and spark lines. So if you take a look at this data right now, it might be really hard if you have to scroll over to follow the lines. And um, so you might want every other one a different color. So let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and change this to a dark blue and I'm going to change the text to white. Notice you can also right click on this to bring up here to also format it or use the home tab. Now that I have my format, I want white and then blue, I am going to select the pattern which is white and blue. So I select both of those, click on my format painter which is the paintbrush under the clipboard on the home tab and I simply drag that format paintbrush wherever I want. Notice the marching ants, the little moving uh, thing so showing you where the format is copied. And then I just drag this down and I'm dragging it down on the numbers so the entire row will be uh, painted. And voila, it's done. If I wanted a fancier format, maybe I wanted a white, blue, and then red. I could do uh, that as well. So I have to highlight all three of these and then grab that format painter and simply drag. And it will copy the formatting, not the content of the cells, but the formatting of the cells. Okay, so now let's take a look at um, conditional formatting that's on the home again and it's right here and we can highlight a column for example or a row it doesn't matter and apply some conditional formatting that will give us like mini charts and I'll just show you let's add some data bars so that it represents the data within that cell. There are other kinds of formatting and notice that you can click here and clear the rules that you have put in here so clear those the conditional formatting. Um, there are, besides data bars, there's color scales that I can apply. And I can add icon sets. Notice also in conditional formatting with my icon sets that I can change the rules on those. So I can go to manage rules and edit rule. And right now it's going to turn green or start turning green when it's at 67%. If I wanted to change that to 80, I could do so. And then it's going to be changing from the yellow to the red at 33. So I can change um, whatever I want in there. I can also reverse the order of the icons. I can pick a different icon set if I want um, for my conditional formatting. Then what, if it's ready, I just click apply. Anytime again, I want to delete this conditional formatting, I come up here and I clear the rules. Notice I can also make new rules too. Um, clear the rules from the selected cells or from the entire sheet. And it will clear all the rules on conditional formatting. Now, what is a spark line? A spark line is going to give you a mini chart based on data. So if I wanted a mini chart based on age or SAT or average score or something, I can click here or I can click anywhere where I want this little spark line to reside. So let's just say that I wanted my little mini graph to be right here in this column. And then I go to the insert tab and I am going to insert a spark line and it says what kind of a spark line do I want? Do I want a little graph? Um, do I want win loss? Do I want a line? I'll go ahead and click a line and then it says what's my data range? And I would click and drag over um, or select the whole column or whatever it is for my data range. So if this is my data range here, I can um, click and drag over whatever I'm looking at and it will put a little um, line graph in here for me that represents the data and if I sorted this data from low to high it would make these data lines go from low to high. So let's just talk about that with the sorting for a minute. If we wanted to custom sort this 
again under our home tab or under data you can also get there and I'm going to go to custom sort and notice that um, I have to say my data has headers if I want that and if I want to sort it by the average score grade or whichever column it was that I want to sort Notice that you can sort by cell values or look at that, the conditional formatting shows up. So if I had a conditional formatting um, icon applied to this row, I could do that. I can also sort by cell color, cell values, um, and instead of just smallest to largest, I can do largest to smallest, and I can even create a custom sort. Notice that there are options here as well. So I'm just going to sort that and notice how my spark line changed now. It now represents the data from lowest to highest just as I asked for the sort.